historical beers, drinking while learning history, only in Japan. I have here uh, some beers that tell us a little bit about Japanese history. Shinsengumi beer. Take a look at this. See that? This is Isami Kondo. He was the uh, leader of the Shinsengumi, which was a, uh, a samurai group uh, in the, at the end of the Edo period, uh, at the beginning of the Meiji period, who were fighting against the imperial forces. They served the shogunate in Kyoto. They were a very bloody group and they killed a lot of imperialist, uh, imperial supporters. And we see on here, this beer, the beer label you see, gives the uh, history of Isami Kondo. It says he was born 1834 to 18, uh, and he died in 1868. And down below, again, we get a little bit of a, a um, little bit of a, a bio on Kondo. It says, born in Chofu City, he was the fourth generation of the Tessera, you know, very difficult to read this. I, I, if someone's drunk, they're gonna have a hard time learning. School of Kendo while, bloody hell, I need reading glasses for my glasses. Well, something, as the founder and leader of the Shinsen Gumi, he was executed in Itabashi in 1868 by the Imperial Army. Then uh, another historical beer, also in the Shinsen Gumi beers uh, selection, we have here, we have Tosh Toshizo Hijikata. He was born in 1835 and he died in 1869. It says he was born in Hino City the son of a pharmacist, it looks like. He studied at the, I can't even read that, Tenarian, basically the uh, school that uh, Kondo uh, was head of, uh, School of Kendo, under the leadership of Kondo Isami. He was killed by the Imperial Army at Just as he was, hang on a he was killed by the Imperial Army, and he was the uh, at that time he was the commander of the Shinsengumi. He was like uh, uh, the second in command to Kondo Isami. He's uh, very famous. Uh, if you go to Hino, which is in the west part of uh, uh, west part of Tokyo, you can see like a statue to him there. All right, and, and another beer. Uh, this is an interesting historical beer, I'll tell you why. This is Ryoma Sakamoto. He's one of the most famous men in uh, Japanese history. Uh, he was one of those uh, reformers who wanted to restore the imperial uh, system of governing. I mention this because uh, it was believed that the Shinsengumi had killed him. Actually, it was another group that had killed him, but uh, believe me, Shinsengumi would have killed him if they had the chance. And here, Ryoma Sakamoto, he was born in 1835 and died in 1867, or rather I should say he was murdered in 1867. Let's see again, it says, born in Kochi Prefecture. He studied Kendo under Shusaku Chiba, he petitioned the bloody hell. This is that's the only problem. Is like these the uh, the history is great on here, but it's so difficult to read. So if you're drunk, it's even harder. All right. So he uh, okay. So he um, all right. Uh, okay. He he. Let's see. I gotta wipe off the. something the naval strategy of Katsu Kaishu yeah he began the oh, that word's kind of messed up Kai in Tai
rebellion in Nagasaki. He was murdered in in Kyoto by the shogunate when he was 32 years old. Okay, but anyway, yeah, so he's a very famous person and now he has his own uh, beer, or at least his own beer label. And this other beer I have here, this one uh, doesn't really give any background, but you have uh, this fellow here, you see there, he is Hachi Hichiro Toga. Togo. Oh, sorry. Togo. He was born in 1847 and he died in 1934. He's also uh, very famous. There's a shrine dedicated to him in Harajuku. He was a naval commander in the Russo Japan War. Yeah. So, history and beer. What a great combination. So, I'm gonna. So, let's see how well it tastes. I'm gonna try the Kondo Isami beer. Take the leader of the Shinsengumi. Where, by the way, there's a movie on the Shinsengumi you should check out. Where um, Mifune, Mifune Toshiro, a very famous Japanese actor in many uh, Kurosawa films, uh, he plays Kondo Isami. Alright, so let's give this a little bit of taste. So here we are, Kondo Isami. Historialicious. So if you see any of these beers, there's a good way uh, to get your drink on and learn a little bit about Japanese history. All right, have a good one.